Hi y'all, it's Sky, and thanks for visiting my channel, The Hobbyist Life. If you were here for last week's video where I reacted to all of Diamond Art Club's new releases for the week, this video is, well, it's not going to be that, but it's going to be similar. So this week I have already seen the images because I just couldn't help myself and I wanted to, but I am going to show them and talk about them in this video and then down below I will link to all of the sneak peeks as they're posted so you can go and get more information if you want. Okay, here we are on Diamond Art Club's Instagram. So let's see what they've got. Oh yeah, there was a midweek release again this week. They had two Scooby-Doo releases. They are precious. This was the first one. It's the mystery machine. I love it. Let me go to the rendering. There you go. So you can see how it looks. This is very large, actually. It's a 70 by 102 centimeter. It's a square with 28 colors and four ABs. So that is really kind of enormous, but it does look like there would be, you know, a lot of color blocking in the background, so it might work up fast. Let's see the other... Yes, this was the right direction. This is the other Scooby-Doo release from earlier in the week. This one, called Scooby-Doo Where Are You, it is a 56 by 66 centimeter, so not as large, but I mean, I feel like that's still a pretty good size. It is also a square with... 30 colors and three ABs. Let me show you the rendering. Super cute. I love, I love Scooby's face in this. I just, I, I mean, this one is really cute. I don't think that I could do all of the color blocking in the background without losing my mind, but I really like this one a lot. So this was a midweek release. So this one and the mystery machine are already out on Diamond Art Club's website. Now, the next ones we're going to look at are not coming out until tomorrow, which will be March the 12th. I don't even know what the date is. March the 12th will be the new releases for the week that we're about to look at. Starting with this one. This is called City Digs by Carla Gerard. It is a 56 by 71 another square we're on a roll with the squares this time it's got 44 colors six ab's and let me show you the rendering i really like this one i love all of the different colors and i like how everything is just a little you know wonky like not not a lot of super straight lines like on the houses the roofs like i just really find that very charming about this artwork okay moving on to this one, it's called All for Love by Dinaries. Daenerys, I feel like I'm talking about the girl from Game of Thrones. D I'm, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing the artist's name there. But uh, this is All for Love. It is a 33 by 33 centimeter, so a nice little snack size. It is a square with 14 colors and 6 ABs. So let's see the rendering. This is very nice. What it represents is very nice. I think that the colors are beautiful. Really, only nice things to say about this. And moving on along, there we go. Oh boy, this, this one I feel like is going to be the celebrity of the week. This one everybody is going to love. This one I feel like has the most potential to sell out. It's really gorgeous. So this is called The Beekeeper by Raven Filan. Filan? I'll never get names right. I'm terrible. Okay, it's a 51 by 71 centimeter. It's a square. Another square. 45 colors and 4 ABs. Wow. I really kind of need to know where those ABs are going to be. I'm sure there'll be a sneak peek. And when there is, I'll link it down below. Oh yeah, I really hope there's ABs in these pretty eyes. Like, There's plenty of opportunity for sparkle here. There's, there's so much you could do with the ABs. Really, I bet there's a lot of embellishments that you could make with this one. I, I'm not really skilled enough to embellish a piece. I always do everything as charted, or at least I have so far. But I know there are some people who could really make this sparkle. Okay, our next artwork 
<laughs> this one makes me smile every time I see it. This is Piss Off I'm Cranky Kitten by Marilyn Kazanov. Again with the names. This is a 51 by 51 centimeter. It is a partial. So let's let me show you the rendering. So all of this background is not going to need drills. It's just going to be your pretty little kitty and your little coffee cup over here. But it does have 28 colors, four ABs, and it is a square. And it's absolutely adorable. My goodness. And our next one. Oh, this lovely lady. This is Akimi by Sylvia Strigic. Sorry about the butcher of your name. Of uh, 51 by 71 centimeters. This is a round. Okay, a round now. 32 colors and 4 ABs. Let's see the rendering. No, that's not the rendering. <laughs> okay, there we go. That is lovely. Look at all of these greens. Like, how many of those 32 colors are going to be greens? Gotta be lots. And it's a round. I was kind of not expecting that. I kind of thought that it would be a square when I just, when you look at the detail in this image, I just kind of thought it would be square, but no. Round and lovely. Okay, and the next one, I think the last one. Oh, this one, I thought I was safe. I thought I was safe, but I don't know if I'm going to be safe. This, I may have to purchase. This is Stolen Moments by Randall Spangler. It's an 84 by 56 centimeters, so that's pretty good size. I mean, it's large. It's not the largest one that I have in my stash, so maybe I could buy it and consider it something small to work on. This is a square. It has 43 colors and four ABs. I, I love this. I love it. Let's see the rendering. It's so cute. And the, the print on the book is, is still legible. That is great. You can even see some of the lettering on the bottle still. I really love the rendering here. I love the, I love the little dragon and his cookie. I love the bubbles. I bet there's some nice AB usage with these candles, the flames. This one is really tempting. Really, really tempting for me. Okay, let's go back and look at all of them as a whole. So we've got our Scoobies and then these guys. Here's our new releases for Saturday. I'm really thinking, I really think that everyone's going to be really into this one. I think this one has the most sellout potential. I don't know. That's not really an educated guess. That's just me theorizing. So don't hold me to that. And you know what we didn't do? We. You know what I didn't do? I didn't check if any of these are limited editions. So let's go back and look at that. Well, I'll go back and look at that and I'll let you know. Okay, I'm back. And none of these actually say that they're limited edition. I don't know if that means none of them are, or if they just didn't happen to list that in these posts, which they usually do. So I feel like we can assume that they are not limited edition. So that's good news. So I had kind of decided that I was going to look at Dreamer Designs new releases this week too, but I guess they didn't have new releases this week. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but their Instagram doesn't seem to be planning for a release like they have been doing in previous weeks. So we're not going to look at those, but maybe in the future we will look at Dreamer Designs releases. Or if you guys have any other companies that you would like me to cover their releases or any other sort of news related things, could I be a news source for the diamond painting community or something? I don't know. There was one other thing that I wanted to mention before I end the video. Let me get my screen back up and running. Okay, what we're looking at here is Diamond Art Club's website, and I have searched for a specific artist. This is Olha Darchek, as she is a Ukrainian artist that is licensed with Diamond Art Club, and I just wanted to quickly scroll through her available artwork. Well, actually, I don't think that these two are available. I think that they 
are sold out. Yeah, notify me. But I do think that these six are still available, at least at the time that I'm recording. Uh, but I did just want to let you guys know that these are here, that she is a Ukrainian artist, and I presume, since she's licensed with Diamond Art Club, that she is compensated when we buy her stuff. So, I don't want to get, like, political? Is it political to support the people of Ukraine right now? I, I don't know. I'm sure some people think it is. So, if this is not the type of content that you're looking for, I'm sorry, but I just feel like I should mention, you know, if you're shopping tomorrow and you're you know, a little bit away from free shipping, then maybe toss one of these babies in there. You know, it might help somebody. I know that Diamond Art Club has posted on their VIP group on Facebook, and I will, I'll link to that down below. There are some qualifiers to get in. I think you have to answer some questions or something, so just know that up front. But uh, they did mention on that group that they have been trying to get in touch with their Ukrainian artists. Um, there is another artist who's, uh, we haven't seen her kits yet. Uh, they have been produced and they're in transit, but we haven't had the opportunity to purchase them yet, but we will. And I will definitely let you guys know when that time comes, but they are not able to get in touch with Olha Darchuk right now, um, which is a scary thought. I feel like the people of the crafting community are just like the best people, so... I know that you guys are probably all looking for ways to help, just like me, and this was just one thing I thought I would bring to your attention. Okay guys, I'm sorry to be kind of a downer there at the end. I hope this video is not a train wreck because there has been absolute chaos. Look, nugget. <laughs> Nuggets in my lap. He does not want to be, but he has been wreaking havoc the whole time I've been filming this, so I hope you haven't heard him barking. But hopefully this will be salvageable. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to try to film one of these every week and just give you guys kind of a, a roundup. Is that what we're going to call it? Maybe a new arrival roundup. And like I said earlier, I will be linking all of the sneak peeks down below. I don't think there was a sneak peek for one of the Scooby-Doo's. I think something happened in the shipping and the person that was supposed to do it didn't get it in time. But for whatever reason, there's not a sneak peek of that one up right now. Um, Possibly there'll be like an unboxing or something later on and I can link that. But the others I feel like should have sneak peeks up today that I'll be able to link by the time this video goes live. So just if any of these struck your fancy, just look down below and you can find a video that will unbox it and go into much greater detail so you can make an informed decision before you purchase. So that's going to do it for me today, you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!